another lazy recipe for lazy people that doesn't take long, but still tastes really good. And it's really healthy. So if you love banana bread, but you don't love the guilt that comes with it, then keep watching. Okay, so if you have long hair, put it up, then preheat your oven to 350. So you need oat flour, but like who has oat flour? So just put your oats in the blender and it'll make flour. Then mix all your dry ingredients, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, mix, 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 mix. Then you're gonna mix your wet ingredients. So bananas, applesauce, maple syrup, uh, two teaspoons of vanilla, I forgot to show that. Then mix your wet and dry ingredients together. And then you're gonna add some chocolate chips, mix, 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 and then you're done. Just put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Just checking in, very nice, dance break, and then uh, you're pretty much done. I have these for breakfast, I just cut them into squares, and I have one in the morning, and they're super filling and very healthy. This simple cake with just three ingredients. Here's how. Start by blending 350 grams of your favorite store-bought cookie in a food processor. We chose graham crackers, but you can pretty much use any kind of cookie that you like. Add the finely crushed cookies to a large bowl, then sprinkle in baking powder through a sieve. This is what's going to make your cake rise so it's fluffy instead of hard and dense. Whisk together, then pour in warm milk. Now use a spatula to thoroughly mix everything together. Once it has the consistency of a cake batter, pour into a seven inch square pan lined with parchment paper that overhangs slightly. Gently shake the pan to remove any air bubbles and even out the top, then pop in the oven at 340 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. You can test if it's fully cooked by piercing the center with a skewer or toothpick. If it comes out clean, the cake is fully cooked. Remove from the pan and invert onto a clean cutting board or plate. Gently peel off the parchment paper and allow the cake to cool completely. Once it's cooled, top your cake with your favorite icing. Here we used a simple white chocolate ganache. Try this recipe at home and let us know which cookies you used if and how you still it need plans for the weekend, this is your sign to make some cinnamon roll pancakes. They're topped off with a maple cream cheese icing and they make the perfect excuse to have dessert for breakfast. You'll start off by whisking together all your dry ingredients. Then add your egg, vanilla extract, buttermilk, and our melted butter and whisk until it looks smooth just like this. Then you'll make your cinnamon sugar mixture and icing. Butter your pan over medium heat and add your pancake batter. Once it starts to bubble, swirl in your cinnamon sugar mixture, flip over, and let it cook through. Top it off with your just like lemon sorbet. Just mix unsweetened Greek yogurt with some lemon zest and honey, and whisk it really hard so that you get all of the flavors out of that lemon zest. This recipe is also super adaptable. You can mix whatever flavor combinations you want into this. I topped it with berries and lemon zest and it turned out really pretty and also just really delicious. It's so easy and it's nice to have around if you want to snack on something healthy. We're going to make deep fried mozzarella sticks that are cheesy and delicious. Salt into the panko breadcrumbs, pepper, some dried oregano, and a touch of red chili flakes. Coat it into the flour, then into the egg, then into the breadcrumbs, back into the egg, and then back into the breadcrumbs. Now deep fry in best foil at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until nice and golden brown. Check out that cheese pull. All right, let's dip it into our homemade tomato sauce. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Cheers. Mmm. Let's make these healthy crispy chicken tenders with the perfect crust using no oil. Cut your chicken into strips, season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper. Mix it all up and put it to the side. Add your crushed cornflakes and use the same seasoning you just used. Mix that all up then crack two eggs in a bowl and whisk. Line a baking tray then simply dip the chicken in the egg wash, let it drip, put it in the crumbs, making sure they're all evenly coated. Then bake for 18 minutes at 200 degrees, flipping halfway, and you're ready to eat while they're hot. This everywhere on TikTok and had to try it. Boil Raymond and set aside. Then add spoon of butter, half a spoon of garlic and soy sauce. Add a spoon of brown sugar and drop the Raymond. Red chili flakes yum yum. Why can break an egg with one hand? Mix mix. Everything bagel seasoning on top and voila. We're gonna make a quick and easy recipe brought to you by the Quicker Picker Upper. Five ingredient chicken nuggets. One pound chicken thighs. Cut into bite-sized pieces. Into a bowl. Cover with buttermilk. Cover fridge. Marinate for one to 24 hours. Close. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Four tablespoons of your favorite seasoning. Whiskey business, heavy pot. Fill that halfway up with oil. Medium heat, around 350 Fahrenheit. Chicken into the flour. Toss that. So coat it nicely. Fry all that in batches. For six to eight minutes. Till they look like that. Drain on the quicker picker upper. <laughs> I got to say it. Repeat with the rest. So crispy. Sheesh. <laughs> Listen to this. Delicioso. Now let's see what you can make with five ingredients or less.
I'm so sorry this happened. Let me get a mic's heart, lemonade cup with the ice start. Playing Lil Uzi, I might start going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. My dad owned a Chinese restaurant when I was younger, and this dish was the customer's favorite and mine too. It's so flavorful, tender, and juicy. His secret is this marinade and when finished mixing, add oil at the top to keep the meat juicy, then marinate for at least 30 minutes. Stir fry is quick, so make sure to prep your onions, garlic, and pepper beforehand. In high heat, fry your beef in a good amount of oil until golden brown, then set aside. Fry dried red pepper and garlic together until you see the red pepper brown up, then fry onions until translucent, then add the beef back in. Fry the green onions for a quick minute, add soy sauce and sugar. Here you can see my dad showed some cool flips. This dish goes perfect with some rice, and I hope you enjoyed my dad's recipe. This is for all my rice lovers. I'd like to introduce you to the stuffed pepper and steak rainbow rice. Let's make it. For our bell peppers, I like to use green, orange, and yellow. I use about half of each and cut it into very small pieces. We're also going to cut our steak into small cubes as well. Now we're going to saute our veggies in olive oil with some garlic. You can also add onions here, and once they soften, we're going to add our meat. Then we season it with onion powder, ginger, turmeric, black pepper, salt, tomato sauce, and lots of Italian dressing. Give that a stir until your meat is cooked thoroughly, taste it and see if it needs anything. Then we're going to add some diced tomatoes as well as some chopped parsley. Take it off the heat, mix it with your cooked basmati rice, and enjoy! Lazy guide to making sausage rolls. Sausages, puff pastry, one egg. Take the skin off the sausages, put your sausages here, roll, cut, cut, stack them, score them. Brush them. Turn that heat up. Pop it into the oven. Ooh la la. Mmm, so good. You have to make this breakfast burrito. Sprinkle cheese, eggs. I've been so obsessed with Kylie Jenner's avocado toast recipe ever since I tried it. I simply toasted some naan and sliced half an avocado, added sea salt and red pepper chili flakes. What sets this apart is adding honey. It makes it so delicious. So one day I got a call. You said we'll get breakfast in the park. We'll get dinner after dark and I'll be with you every second in between. Yeah, hey guys, I'm not even sure what to call this today, but yeah. I'm going to show you how to make this really delicious breakfast roll. First thing I'm doing is just taking a Pillsbury pizza crust and stretching that out on my cookie sheet. Then I'm going to put a layer of shredded cheddar cheese, then cut strips out of your dough on the side. Now I'm putting a layer of just some basic scrambled eggs. Then I'm gonna lay on some sausage I cooked up. After that, I'm gonna put some bacon. I had a lot of stuff I needed to use up today. So after you got that in there, you're just gonna cross it over like this. It started so promising and then I don't know what I did. It wasn't so pretty, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna brush this with some melted butter and bake it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. It really doesn't take that long. And here we go. Banana split for breakfast. Split the banana in half and remove the peel. Whisk together the Greek yogurt and honey until it feels good. Add a little to the banana, a little fruit, a little granola, some cacao nibs, and a drizzle of peanut butter. Dig in. 